A man who was tied up and robbed at gunpoint more than two decades ago is reliving some of the most terrifying moments of his life tonight, just a short time after Governor Brown granted the culprit clemency. Thank you for joining us for this special edition. I'm Carly Tinsley. Now, as we first told you earlier this week, 45 year old Kyle Hedquist was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in 1995. He was convicted of tricking 19 year old Nikki Thrasher into driving him to a rural part of Douglas County where he would shoot her execution style and dump her body on the side of the road. And this horrific murder came just months after Hedquist held Douglas County Pizza Hut employees at gunpoint, tying them up and threatening to kill them. He ended up taking $3,000. And KEZI 9 News reporter Mike Cerullo sat down with one of those employees who was even a friend of Thrasher's and says this isn't fair. The only thing that I could think of is this is how my life is going to end. Tied up, gagged, and staring down the barrel of a gun, Brian Thuvenel was scared for his life. One of the questions he asked was, you know, which one of you volunteered to get shot? The man with his finger on the trigger was Kyle Hedquist, a teenager at the time. After it was all said and done, the police were there and investigating. He came in to see his friend while they were questioning all of us. So, I mean, you know, this was a person who can act. Hedquist's crimes have haunted Thuvenal for the past 28 years. Now he's reliving that trauma all over again. He says he wants to move forward, but Governor Brown's decision is a step backwards. It's incredibly reckless on her part. She just acted on her own completely. Thuvenal says he doesn't believe the governor understands just how horrific Hedquist's crimes were. Months after the robbery, he tricked Nikki Thrasher into driving with him to a rural part of Douglas County, where he shot her in the back of the head and dumped her body on the side of the road. Thuvenal grew up with Nikki. The two went to school together, which is why this news is even tougher to take in. She was probably the kindest heart that you'd ever want to meet. I mean, she'd give you a shirt off of her back. She was so incredibly sweet, nice, funny. In response to widespread criticism about her decision to grant Hedquist clemency, Governor Brown said teenagers who committed terrible crimes have the capacity for growth and change and can turn their life around. But in this case, Thuvenel doesn't see it the same way. Do I think he can change? Anybody can, but do I believe that he can change? No. Reporting in Roseburg, Mike Cerullo, KEZI, 9 News.